Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dead Pixels. Tonight we're going to play a little bit of Pure Solar for the Sega Genesis. This RPG came out last year from Watermelon. And uh, it's a homebrew RPG that is really just of the highest quality. Um, it's hard to believe how good this game is. Um, I'm not sure how much of this has been posted on YouTube yet. But I'm just going to go through the first dungeon and give everybody a look at how it uh, actually plays and sounds. So uh, check it out. Now, right now, we're controlling Hostin and his friends Edisit and Alina, and we're looking for an herb in this cave to save Hostin's father, who's dying from a mysterious illness. You can see the battles are pretty much uh, straightforward turn-based fare, really similar to Final Fantasy, but it's not a bad thing. And another thing you'll notice is uh, if you're using a sword, you obviously you can't attack flying enemies. You have to use your ranged units for those. Uh, makes you use a little bit more strategy when you're fighting. One thing I like is there's a lot of variety in the death animations for the enemies. And I just say so you now, I'm using this game in conjunction with the audio CD that came with the game. So you're getting uh, this, the Red Book audio soundtrack here. And I think we're coming up on the boss here. If anyone played the beta, you'll see that this is actually quite different from the boss you fought in the beta. Oh, 
Oh, I don't think he wants to help us very much. And again, this music's just fantastic. They really put a lot of work into it. demonic gum drops are making things pretty difficult. Who would have thought an avocado would do so much damage? Veggies of mass destruction. There we go, that's the end of the first boss. So we're about to run out of time, but there you guys have it. This is uh, the first dungeon of Pure Solar. Again, um, this is from Watermelon. I think they're putting out a re-release pretty soon, so anyone who hasn't picked it up might want to keep an eye on their site, try to snag a copy for themselves. I couldn't recommend it enough. It'll last you about 30 hours, and it's a fantastic game. Um, Thanks for watching.